Today's video is for anyone who has ever tried combining files in a folder and found out that some of your creative colleagues decided to improvise with the headers. Maybe they even snuck in a few extra columns here and there. Sounds familiar? Don't worry, I've got a trick to help you combine those files into one clean table, no matter what quirky column names your team throws your way. Let's get into it. Typically, when you combine files, you'll expand all the tables into one big table, right? The problem is, if one file has an extra column or is missing one, it throws off the whole setup. It's frustrating and can take ages to sort out, especially when you are working with lots of files. What we are going to do is avoid that problem by using Power Query formulas to automatically handle the differences. So even if someone adds a new column tomorrow, we are covered. Alright, now let's jump straight into the formula that does all the heavy lifting. Instead of dealing with each file individually and manually expanding them, we are going to use a formula to automatically pull all the column names from every file, even if they differ. Here is what the formula looks like. Let me break that down for you quickly. The list transform function transforms each item in a list. In our case, we can grab the column names with table column name function. So for each file in your folder, this formula is pulling out the column names, even if they are not the same across all files. Finally, the list union function combines all the lists of column names into one unified list, ensuring that every column from every file is included, whether it's a common column like sales or a unique one. This step makes sure none are left out. With this whole formula, you are essentially creating a master list of all column names from each file, no matter how they vary. As you see, after the refresh, some more data is added to the table. Now, at this point, you could go into the files and manually fix the headers. Just a few minor tweaks and you'll be ready to refresh. In future videos, I'll show you how to make your query even more robust, so stay tuned.